What started as an Islamic Sunday school for a small group of families has grown into a large community effort with about 250 students. Since 1993, Muslims from Indonesia living in the D.C. area first came together to teach their kids the basics of Islam. If you have a house where there is a river surrounding the house, then what are you going to do? You're going to protect the kids by building a fence or you're going to teach the kids how to swim so that when they you know, somehow fell down into the river, then they can survive. Students learn Arabic in order to read their holy book, the Quran. But most of them are Indonesian, so Arabic is a second or third language. The school's inclusive policy also accepts kids from different nationalities in East Africa and South Asia. So while this community began with Indonesians, Muslims from Somalia, Bangladesh, and Pakistan are more than welcome to join in. There are about 3.3 million Muslims living in America. That's only about 1% of the total U.S. population. Maryland and Virginia are part of the top 10 states with the highest population of Muslims in the U.S. Allah. Alhamdulillah, you know. That's not what I thought before became, before I came to America, to be honest. What, you know, when I, before to America, I think it's, America is, we're gonna be scared, we're gonna be, have hard time to pray, we have hard time to find a mosque. MashaAllah, when I got here, it's easy to find a mosque. Even it's a lot mosque, and it's a lot, it's the Muslim community. The Indonesian Muslim community in the U.S. is relatively small, but have large concentrations in major cities like D.C., New York, and Houston. Tita Alim, Silver Spring, Maryland.